Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Randy Shaves this morning for Tuesday morning, Wednesday morning. Not Tuesday morning. Not Wednesday morning. <laughs> this is Wednesday. Uh, <clears throat> going to do a shave this morning. Let's just get right into what we're using. We're going to use Sterling Glacial Peach. Very nice scent. Very refreshing smelling scent. Great peach scent to this, uh, this has always been one of my favorite uh, starting scents. And with that, it's, oh, it's glacial peach, by the way. It's, it's cool. It's real cool. And uh, we've got the glacial peach matching aftershave. And that's what we're gonna be using for the uh, soap and aftershave. And we're gonna be using a frank shaving uh, bore brush today. They make some really nice bores. This is an unbleached version of their bore knot. Um, just great bore brushes. If you like bore, I tell you, I, I don't know where he came up with it, but he, he got his hands on some very nice bore here and uh, does a fantastic job. Going to be using today the Razor Rock Lupo, stainless Lupo. And I've got, what have I got? plate have I got on this today? I've got the 0.58 plate on here today. I have both the 5.8 and the 7.2. This is the 5.8 and in that we've got a Gillette Platinum Blade on its second use and that ought to do it so we'll just lather up here right quick. With this nice Frank Shaving Bore Brush and this great smell of the, of the uh, Sterling Glacial Peach. Well, I've had a heck of a week, guys. I told you last week that I tested positive for COVID. And it just kept getting worse. <laughs> I mean, I never had, I never had anything like was going on a couple of years ago. I never had any uh, breathing issues or anything like that. But man, it just made me feel like I had been hit by a truck. And uh, for a few days, I say two or three days, probably three days. Two days were the worst. A cough, just a just a dry, aggravating dry cough that you just couldn't get rid of, and uh, they gave me some uh, medicine that they're giving people now for COVID, and they told me I could I could use it if I wanted to, but didn't have to. So I got to looking at all the side effects, and I thought, you know, I think I can struggle through this. And I did. My wife and I both were feeling a lot better. So, but man, I tell you, that COVID, I've never had it before. My wife had. Um, so she asked me one day, she said, well, how you like it? I said, I don't like it. But anyway, things happen. We get sick, and hopefully we recover. So let's get started with this uh, stainless steel razor rock lupo. Great razor with a 0.58 plate. And the Gillette Platinum Blade. Always been one of my favorite blades. Everything's just very smooth. I also told y'all I was having some stomach issues. Those are better. I, I went yesterday and got a, uh, the doctor wanted me to have a, uh, uh, what do they call it? Echo, uh, what is it called? 
It did an echo of my entire abdomen. Everything okay there. I don't know what's, what was going on. It's better. I went on. They gave me a, one medicine. I just couldn't hardly tolerate it. It seemed to make it worse. So they, they switched me to another one. It didn't work either. So now I have a third medicine that I haven't even taken one of yet because I started feeling better. And I'm not a big fan of taking medicines if I don't need them. So here's what I've decided. I've decided that medicine sometimes goes about things backwards. First of all, they don't know exactly what's wrong or what was wrong in here in my stomach. They seem to uh, have uh, be thinking that it was like a peptic ulcer or maybe a stomach ulcer or something. So they put me on all these medicines. Then they schedule me for a scope, which won't be done for at least a couple of months. So, here's where I think they go about things backwards. Why don't we first find out what the problem is? And then, when we find out, then prescribe medicine for that problem. Does that make sense to y'all? makes perfect sense to me. Instead of just throwing medications at symptoms, not knowing what you're treating, and seeing if it helps, which it didn't. So, I'm not a doctor, never been to medical school, but I don't think you have to be a doctor to figure out, hey, let's see what's wrong with the guy. We got all kinds of medicines here at our disposal, and once we find out what his problem is, then we'll prescribe the proper medicine to cure the problem. But they don't do it that way. That's just like having a problem with your car. I mean, you normally don't take your, take it to the mechanic and he just changes spark plugs and changes the oil and the air filter and and everything else you can think of. Rotate your tires to see what your problem is. Normally, a mechanic, nowadays, they'll put it on a computer It'll give you a code. It'll say, well, it's something to do with emission control with controls and we need to change this and that'll solve the problem. No, doctors go about it the other way. Here, take this medicine, see if it gets better. It didn't get better? Here, take this medicine, see if it gets better. Still not better? Well, here, take this medicine, and we'll see if it gets better. Meanwhile, we've got you, we've got you on a schedule uh, at some point to get a scope to see what's wrong. I don't know. It's frustrating. But, like I said, it's better too, so, and I'm not even taking the medicine. I, I thought, I ain't going through that again. Now, if it gets worse, yeah, I'll probably take it, but. Oh, no, maybe I'm looking at it wrong. Anyway, 
if there's any doctors out there listening and watching, tell me where I'm wrong about that. I'd, I'd really like to know. I, I know when I was working my job, we dealt with some humongous, a lot of equipment, a lot of critical equipment, nuclear equipment. And when we had a problem, first thing we did is figure out what's our problem. Because we didn't want to do something to fix a problem who didn't exist and let the real problem just continue. But medicine's different, I guess. I don't know. It's just been frustrating. Maybe I'm just old and cranky. Or maybe since I've never been sick, I'm doubly frustrated. Oh, well, enough about all that. Just shave. Oh, it's going good. Very nice. I tell you, this razor rock looker was a nice razor. I had never, I had had, I've got the razor rock game changer. 184. I've had the point six eight. I had the uh, Razor Rock Hawk V3 stainless steel with the Artist Club blades. And one day, one of my buddies, Jim Combs. He asked me where he got uh, a loophole. So we were chatting one day and he said, Have you ever tried that loophole? I said, No, I never have. He said, Man, he said, That is a nice razor. He said, That's all I'm using now. So he told me all about it. And I think it was like 60 something dollars. Yeah, I don't remember exactly. So I bought one. I bought the 7 2 first, because that's what he had. And I just really, really liked it. So then I saw where they. I was watching a video of someone else. I don't remember who it was now. But um, they were using the .58 plate, which I didn't even know they had. And they were talking about how great it was. I thought, well, I'm going to get that plate. And they weren't wrong. Man, it's nice. Both of them are. I, I like them both. I really do. And when I use the loophole, I kind of um, alternate back and forth. Like I said, today I've got the 5.8. Boy, they both produce just great shaves. And I've said this probably so many times you're tired of hearing it, but When it comes to value and wet shaving, Razor Rock is just, well, I'm just going to say it, they're unbeatable. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they produce stainless steel razors for the price they do. But they do. And they are good razors. I like my game changer but I, I will have to say I like this loophole better and I can't really put my finger on exactly why that is but I do one thing I like is the shape of the head look at that see how that's kind of 
you know, scooped out on the on the corners there. And there's no overhang. Of course, there's no overhang on the game changer either. But, uh, makes the head a little more compact. And I really do like that. But I've been a Razor Rock fan for a long time. I, but I have gotten razors that I didn't care for from them. I can't remember that last one I had. Um, it was a really, it was really, uh, had, a, had a real curve in it. I can't think of the name of which one it was, but and it shaved okay. I just didn't find that it was as efficient as this one or the game changer, either one. But I've got another friend that loves that razor. It's all they shave with. Just depends on what you like. But for the price and for the ability for a razor to last a lifetime, you're not going to beat Razor Rock. I challenge you to beat them. You can't. Now, you can get more expensive razors that, that perform just as well. I've got to say, I've never used a more expensive razor that performs any better. But you can, I mean, you can spend whatever you want to on a razor uh, or a brush or anything, uh, to be honest. Let's see. I'm afraid I had forgotten to bring my alloy in here. shave nice smooth irritation free what else do you want it's hard to come up with anything any better here's the here's the brush still got lather all over it but uh, this is a frank shaving uh, I believe that's a 26 millimeter bore. It's got their logo on the bottom there. Real comfortable handle. Your hand or your fingers just kind of fall into that indention there. And uh, it's a very nice, very nice brush. Um, and I've got a link. In the, I'll have a link in the description of this video with a frank shaving um, link where if you put my channel name, Randy Shaves, in the coupon code box, you'll get 20% off. And I, I say this every time, but I want to emphasize it. I don't get anything for that. Um, that's just something that me and Lee agreed to do for me for my channel. And uh, so it's just for you. 
to save money. That, that's all it is. I, I don't get any. I don't get any. Uh, I don't get rich on that. <laughs> oh me. Okay. Let's do some of this glacial aftershave. Peach glacial. If you like a scent that's, that hangs with you during the day, this is it. This does a wonderful job of that. Man, it just smells so fresh. It's just a real refreshing um, type of scent. It's just really nice. And... Uh, now I've had other peach, I've got two, or I had two other peach uh, soaps, and I won't name the brands, but uh, the first one, boy, you had to really bury your nose down in there to smell any peach, so I wasn't crazy about it, then in a, I bought way back Yonder, I bought one of these mystery boxes, and it had a full tub of another um, peach soap from another company, and uh, it smelled exactly like bananas. Go figure. It, it had no peach smell whatsoever, but it smelled like bananas. Remember these little banana candies you'd get when you was a kid, little yellow squares called banana bikes or something like that? Smelled exactly like those, but no peach. But this peach, this is peach. Mm, it smells good. So that's the shave for today. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope I didn't bore you with all my uh, medical talk, but um, I uh, am on the mend and I'm back. So that's a good thing. And... Uh, Hey, when you get as old as I am, anytime you get well, that's a plus. <laughs> yeah, boy. Um, somebody told me this morning I was on Facebook real early. I get up around 4 o'clock. And uh, I was on Facebook about 4.30. And one of my friends said, you need to sleep. And of course, he was awake. But I said, sleep's overrated. <laughs> you know, you want to get every minute you can get out of every day nowadays. Anyway. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And please subscribe if you haven't. Um, go use my Frank Shaving link to get your 20% off of your purchase. You'll be glad you did. Um, and when you're getting a hold of Ming Lee, keep in mind, he's 14 hours ahead of us here in the United States. So a lot of times when you're ordering, he's sleeping. And then when... He's awake, you're sleeping. So sometimes it takes a time or two to get all connected, but uh, he'll make you a good deal on something. So hope you have a great rest of the week and I hope you have happy shaves. And this is Randy on Randy Shaves saying I'll talk to you guys later. Adios. <laughs>